So back in the day when I was just first starting out offering 3D printing services, you know, we were pricing based purely on cubic centimeter volume of the actual object. And what I was finding is that you would get a lot of people that had small objects that were okay with the pricing scheme. Because let's say, for, as an example, we were printing an FDM PLA at about 90 cents per cubic centimeter. And then I started thinking about, okay, you know, printing larger objects for clients requesting you know, large architectural models or even you know, large electronics enclosures. The pricing for that was you know, exponentially more than the smaller objects. And it stands to reason because as the volume of an object increases, it goes exponentially as well. And if you're pricing based purely just on cubic centimeter for the pricing scheme, it's not going to scale correctly or more linearly to what a customer expects. And it's not going to scale linearly for what your actual true costs are to producing those types of objects for customers. So the real aha moment of, okay, we need to do something about pricing schemes is assuming several different variables. Uh, the first is, of course, the material and the, the cost of producing that actual individual object. And then you have to look at the machine itself. What was the principle that I paid for it and how long is this machine going to last for me? So what is the depreciation on the machine? Then we started to look at, okay, this machine just doesn't exist and sit there and it's perfect all the time. It, you know, you have to maintain it. So a lot of OEMs have uh, maintenance plans, etc. And then understanding, okay, that is part of my you know, cost of goods sold in maintaining these machines. So that should be taken into account of my understanding what my costs are and ultimately my pricing. And then we started thinking even more, like extrapolating out, okay, what other things do I do in my business in support of printing in this machine? And that was human time, uh, fabrication time, software and services, and everything else that goes into support of that operation. So in thinking about all that, we really want to determine, you know, what is the true hourly cost of all of these things combined? And then that's where we started to think, oh, you know, we were originally pricing at roughly you know, 90 cents per cubic centimeter. And if we were to adhere to that model, we would be, you know, frankly, losing our ass on printing projects for especially larger clients. Because as it scales, it's not really one-to-one -one in that type of pricing scheme. So continually developing the idea and adding this to our pricing scheme, we started thinking about, okay, what should we offer as a margin onto this? What is the actual appropriate rate that you can charge out there in the market? And that took a lot of learning. Uh, and I think it really comes with experience. I don't think anybody gets pricing, no matter what industry that you're in, nobody gets pricing correct the first time. It takes a lot of research, it takes a lot of projects, but more importantly, you have to know who your customers are, what they are producing, and why they are coming to you in the first place. So it stands to reason if you are more of a transactional type of business that is basically a print farm that doesn't do any sort of file checks or consultative types of services, and you have 100 machines and you just want people to pump out parts, of course, with an operation that's that optimized, your price and your margins you know, can be you know, significantly higher than somebody who is uh, basically more of a consultative shop. However, what a consultative shop does is helps guide the customer, actually communicate with them, and you're actually providing more value for the customer. So sometimes you have to realize in, in running these businesses, your initial thought might be optimize, 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 more printers, more prints all the time, but you could do basically fewer print jobs at a higher margin if you're actually more consultative with your clients, if you're providing more value than the print itself. So it's, it stands to reason if you are a professional shop and you have a few clients, you are definitely not going to be pricing the same as a shop that has 200 FDM machines that's just pumping out parts. They have a different value prop than you. So understanding what your business case for your customers are is a huge factor in calculating your margin and what your actual true underlying costs are.